Pera. Pode só pé. Beleza, tampa, tampa outro ali. Só vou mostrar que não tem sem cordinha, né? <risos> Justo na hora do. Tá ótimo. É do vídeo, é do vídeo, é do vídeo, é do vídeo. Vou mostrar o campeonato desse cenário. So this is a system played by Light Twist project. We have two Dell projectors, and in a Linux environment, you can pretty much blend both and have a seamless uh, desktop experience. In this case, simply playing a video that's a, that's widescreen. And let's quit the video. And I'm gonna show you the alignment process. You can see here uh, in the Ubuntu now we have this one big uh, projecting environment. The setup is quite simple. While originally we would have something like uh, this, you know, where we have the the projector. The projector they both have an overlap and each window uh, does not go continuously from one side to the other. With the plugin, if I turn on again, we can have this as one big smooth desktop experience. So let me turn on the alignment program again. And not again because you didn't see it, so hold on. LT align. This part of the project from a group in Montreal, we download the source. Here we have a screen where we need to first take the four corners here. One, two, three, four. After that, just go page up. Oh. Okay. I, I forgot to turn off the plugin. Page up, and you can mark here the intersection between the two projectors. I, I do believe that you can probably use more than one projector at the same time. I haven't tried that though. Here, you see for the first projector, we have the red markers. Then I press two in the keyboard. And now the cursor switch from an arrow to an X, things you can probably can't see on YouTube. But it means we need to move the mouse around to the other projector in order to get the new cross. Press one, two, three. What I'm doing here is putting them on top of the other one. If I want, I can move it with the keyboard to fine tune their, their position. Again, if I want to change position of this one here, I can move this is the green one, right? Or if I want to go back to the red one, just press one and need to move again. Let's see this one, it's really bad. Yeah. Okay. That's actually quite good. Uh, if I press space, I'm always back to the original screen where you can actually set how big and wide is the screen you want to use. In this case, it's this one here. And with that, see that's good. Just press S to save. And this is going to dump what you call LUT. LUT is like a lookup image where you can use to map a fragment shader on top of the screen. Played by an FBO. And this was only to by the computer thinking, it's all good. Now, you see here, I'm gonna... Uh, oh, I was in a completely wrong folder. So now I'm gonna move these images here to the correct folder. Uh, PNG. And set up. So we have pretty much the images in a setup file. You can move to anywhere in your computer. And just move into a place where the same place where the plugin is installed. That's a dot com piece uh, dash one slash light slash data. Just for the sake of it. I'm gonna go press CC, uh, CCCM, CCSM to set the plugin again. And they have all the, the documentation online, but pretty much need to change the mouse, which I don't know where it is. Where's mouse? Here. Mouse pulling interval to one. And you need to you go to effects and light twist. You're gonna disable 
and re-enable it. And as you can see here, we can pretty much we need to change the shader folder to the place where the plugin is installed, and we need to add new images here. These are the images we generated from that computer software, the LT Align. Uh, projector 0 and 1 and gamma 2.2 by default gamma is 0.1 what's going to make the whole thing to be black pitch black so don't go this way okay close it uh, computer is already running so that's pretty good so we just need to turn on again control shift 9 control shift f just a second what was trying to Vai dar pau de novo? Só porque eu tô rodando aqui. Sério? Ué? Isso. Não, o bichinho não. É, Ctrl Shift aqui. Tem que habilitar, habilitar, né? Mas já, já fiz isso, já fiz isso. Tem que dar o Ctrl Shift. Dá o Ctrl Shift. Não, mas dá o Ctrl Shift não, né? Não, é, não. É bom porque tem alguém preocupado. É F9, né? É, Ctrl Shift, F9. Ctrl Shift, oba. Ctrl Shift, F7. So we first turn on the script, the compass, and then we call it. Now I just, I talk on video, okay? Talk on VLC, because it's for full screen. Talk on the ED, GAV. Actually, if you have a video that's a... Dá o Ctrl H para assumir o coisinho. E arrasta a tela para encher tudo. I just think move move ela. So, so far I have... É, desmaximiza ela, acho que ela está maximizada. Então, so far, I have this video playing in. Mas quer dizer, você quer que eu faça isso? Vamos lá, vamos lá. Só desmaximizar. We still have a problem that full screen is not fully working. É, yeah, it's there. Perfeito. Agora só uso o Alt Middle Button para mover e arrastar. E dá o zoom duas vezes nele. Viu? Vídeo? Não. É, vídeo. Dois em cima. Zoom. Lá embaixo. Último. Poxa vida. Uso é, Alt. Alt e middle, é, middle mouse button. O que eu vou fazer? Eu vou fazer isso. Isso. É que tem na verdade o segredo é mover para baixo e continuar aumentando para cima. This is not the perfect example because. Segura aqui, deixa eu. Deixa eu. And as you can see here in the middle, there's pretty much no seams. And again, we're using both projectors to play the video. It's even better if the video is originally 4K. We're actually downloading Sintel right now, but that's about it. Fast forward the video. Sabe como é que avança o vídeo? Ah, mas tá. Pra ficar bonito, né? Acho que tudo assim, deitado, ficava bonito, né? Longo, longo assim, né? And that's all. Valeu, Aldo, Jalma, yours truly. Tchau.